Sean Sewell with InGamer.com here. This is the new Gregory Zulu 30 backpack in size medium large. In this review, I'm going to go over the fit, features, and functions on this very comfortable day hiking backpack. It's one of my favorites. So let's get into it. First and foremost, we'll start with sizing. I am six foot one, 215 pounds, 45 inch chest, 33 inch waist, 36, 37 on the arms. This is the medium large in their lineup. I believe it goes for a torso of 18 to 22. It is adjustable. My torso is usually a 19 and a half, sometimes a 20 if I'm really standing tall but it's nice to have that adjustability for that range. There are other sizes in the lineup too. Um, as far as adjustability goes, their waist belts are super generous. Like I had to tie these things down. You can see I made these little uh, uh, pigtails basically for the straps kind of like things dangling around, but it's super easy to adjust. And they have this really sizable um, adjusters right here. You can easily loosen it if you had a lot of burritos or you can tighten it down just like that. Sometimes on a hike, I like to readjust if I'm ascending or des descending. Um, just, you know, readjust the load lifters, readjust uh, the hip belt. Uh, the hip belt by itself is substantial. Like, there's no way around it. It's, it's a very big part of this backpack. And it's got two pockets. In the pockets, you can easily swallow up things like a, a, a granola bar. Over here, I believe I have my knife usually. Yeah, I got my multi-tool right there. Plenty of space for that kind of stuff and sunscreen. Easy pull handles, the big zippers right there. The belt itself is very uh, comfortable. Um, size, take time sizing your backpack correctly. Put the proper amount of weight you're gonna use on a, on a day hike and size it, the torso. And then uh, they have load lifters, thank goodness, because it's a good backpack. You got load lifters here so you can adjust the load closer or farther away from your torso. You can dial in the fit with a hip belt. You want it on your iliac crest, your hip bones right here. You don't want it right on your shoulders. Well, that's not always true. Sometimes I like to take a little bit of load off and just kind of put it on my shoulders just to give my, my glutes a little bit of a break. I've got kind of a bigger glute, so it kind of hits where the hip belts are sometimes. But most of the time, you want the hip belts to be right on the iliac crest. Uh, this I like. You can easily adjust the sternum strap. You don't have to take it out and finagle it through holes. I don't like that kind of system on other backpacks. I like, I like simple. Just dial it in right here. Uh, hydration compatible. As you can tell, it comes pre-equipped on the right side, left side of your screen, the right side right here. Uh, but the, you can put it out either way you want to. Comes with a nice magnetic doodad right here. And that doodad can attach nicely to the strap. It's a simple feature, but it's the simple things in life, right? The layout, as you'll see right here, you get two sizable stretch pockets, which is a great place for things like, uh, you know, bandana, um, sun, sun sleeves, extra water for my dog right here. There's a big pocket right here that will swallow up perhaps your wet shoes or a jacket or whatnot. Other than that, there's not a whole lot of pockets, and I'll show you the layout here in a second. There's one top lid pocket that's medium to small size. There's one internal pocket that's barely big enough for uh, your keys and, uh, you know, small items, uh, maybe medications or, or uh, a small knife in there. Um, and then the main compartment, it's just the main compartment, this guy right here, but there's also hydration compatible, and Gregory is really kind and sent over their hydration bladder. So I'll just show you all that right now. Let's Let's jump into that. So the backpack itself, it's very comfortable. It carries a load very, very well. Uh, and it's got some simple organizational pockets. This guy right here is a kangaroo pocket, but it has a buckle. And it's also got a lash point, so you can attach things like uh, wet shoes or camp shoes to it. You have these straps right here, so you can really dial in the fit to keep the load no matter what size it is. This is a 30 liter backpack, which is my favorite size for, for day hikes. I typically overpack on purpose. I'm taking care of myself, my dog, my wife, potentially my nieces too. So I like to carry a lot of stuff. And also I've been in enough situations where I always rather have more stuff than not have. So keep that in mind. And then you have this guy right here, very similar function to this guy. We'll keep the load nice and tight and close to your back. Big stretch pockets right here. I, like I mentioned, I keep uh, 
sun stuff in here. These are my fishing gloves when I do my tankara. I keep my tankara rod in here. You can put your trekking poles in there or other other hiking essentials. Over here, I, like I said, I have my quick access water for my dog and then usually a water bowl. And same thing, you get this the bright red one is for adjusting the torso. Same with this guy. You can also put a camera tripod or whatever you want. This is a very versatile backpack. Oh, this is this is where Gregory really nails it. Not only is it comfortable to carry with the hip um, belt right here, you can see it's very sizable and very cushioned, but this trampoline air mesh system does a really good job of helping you ventilate. As you can tell, I'm wearing an active insulation piece right here, the, the Patagonia um, hybrid that I love and have raved about for the last almost year, uh, but I think it came out a couple months ago. But it plays nicely with this because this dries, draws moisture out from the back. You're going to have a sweaty back no matter what, right? But it draws moisture out and this helps it circulate. Is it 100% uh, you know, fix sweaty back? No. But does it help? Heck yeah, it's nice to have that air circulate, especially when you get on top of a ridge and you get that circulation just cools down your back. But also it helps carry the weight. Like I mentioned, it's adjustable. There's a Velcro right here so you can adjust the torso up for a taller person or longer torso, and you can adjust it down lower. So very adjustable in sizing. Like I mentioned, load lifters right here. I have mine, you know, fairly dialed in because I have a decent amount of weight in here. I, I carry camera equipment and a lot of water. You'll see. You'll see what I carry. Uh, like I mentioned, the top pocket right here, easy access, great place for sunscreen. I hope you use sunscreen. Headlamp, you know, quick access stuff, snack, maybe a whole, a whole sandwich in there. And then we'll get into the main compartment. So this, like I mentioned, is the medium large. It's good for 18 to 22 inches. And I'm 19 and a half, 20 inches. So it doesn't go all the way. It'd be nice if it went all the way, but it does access really nicely. And you'll see here it has a nice clip for, especially for the Gregory proprietary um, bladder, which is a really nice bladder, easy to use, has a big handle, so it won't slide down. It's also easy to hold when you're filling it with water. In here I have a camera bag, which maybe not all of you carry a camera bag. That's you know something I carry wind jacket uh, and a puffy and a rain jacket so it's it's a backpack carry carry your essentials first aid kit stuff like that of course i got my first aid kit in here I'll show you yeah i'm not messing around so anyways it'll carry your gear very very well this is not an ultralight backpack there are other backpacks we're testing this this spring and summer that are lighter weight more streamlined but they don't have the the layout and carrying capacity that this one does. It has a legit frame. It has a, a, a you know a real frame in here. It's right there, going down and stays right there. So it'll carry on a person really, really well. I'll put it back on so I can show you. Um, like I said, we, we we test a lot of backpacks here. I'm not gonna say this is the best, but this might be ideal for you if you're looking to carry a lot of weight through the, the hips. And, um, and you're packing for more than one person. If you're a family person, if your mom, they have the Jade 28, dad got the 30 liter right here, the Zulu. Uh, very comfortable, though these hip uh, belts, pockets are very accessible, big zippers throughout. It's a very well-made backpack. Big fans of Gregory. I, actually, my first legit backpacking backpack was the Gregory Baltero 60 or 65 or 70. I love that thing. It got me on a lot of backpacking trips. And um, currently Jay Irwin is testing out the Gregory Denali on Mount Denali right now, today. So stay tuned for his review on that. But yeah, if you want to check it out one last gander at the Zulu 30 size medium large, uh, here it is. It's good stuff. I'll put a link below if you do want to purchase. Uh, if you have any questions and or if you have experience using this backpack, we'd love to hear from you. Share with the audience. What adventures have you done? What do you like about this backpack? What do you wish was better? Like, tell us. We'd love to know. I'm Sean Sewell, owner and director of Stoke for Engearment.com. Until next time, take care.